All right, so radar, we've got some snow out there still falling and making it pretty difficult to travel, kind of depending on where you are at. We've got actually a little bit of thunder snow out here, Salida, strong system there. Monarch Pass was very difficult and weaker snow showers, even a little sprinkle there, trying to fall into Canyon City, but very limited action here. It'd be really awesome to see some flurries loft away from Teller County to El Paso, but we'll see what happens. Different story up in the high country, so it's really difficult to see anything on the road. You know why? Because this is really dense blowing snow on I-70 at the Eisenhower Tunnel. This is on the east side of the tunnel right near Loveland Ski Area, but it just kind of tells the story. You're going to be dealing with pretty rough travel if you want to go west and then even a little bit more local to our area. Monarch Pass, a couple plows have scraped up top, but it is actively snowing very hard and it's still super, super slick outside. Remember what the chain laws are. Look them up. Make sure you've got the right car to get you over the roads too if you have to head west. Winds are starting to gust a lot stronger through Teller and El Paso County. And again, it's a, a little snowy out there into Teller County with some flurries flying around. 20 mile per hour gusts, more 30s mixing in on the west side of the region. When we move a little farther south, Rye, Westcliff, Levita, Walsenburg, Trinidad gusting into the 40 mile per hour range intermittently. So we're already getting windy and the winds will continue to grow today starting out of the west and then out of the north and that's when the cold air comes in. So we were in the 60s yesterday. We're in the 40s and 50s today with the cold front actively cooling daytime temperatures. Now the future cast showing that little bit of snow shower activity this morning moving in. We could through the late morning and early afternoon see some sporadic flurries and snow showers in the Pikes Peak region, but I think Pueblo to the south we are dry and if we do get snow in El Paso County, it shouldn't really accumulate at all. Just visually it would be some blowing flurries. Now through your seven day forecast tomorrow is about the same as today temperature wise just with more sun and a little bit less or actually a lot less wind. We're going to be back to 60 on Saturday. There's a weak snow chance in some models Sunday I'm watching and another chance of snow on Tuesday. Looks a little better towards the beginning of next week. Pueblo blowing dust. That's kind of the big story today with really strong winds, maybe 40 to 60 or 40 to 50 mile per hour gusts. I think we're dry through the weekend, but we were watching maybe next Tuesday is a chance at a little moisture. Canyon City, we're kind of waiting to see some showers or maybe a flurry or two this morning, but that'd be about it for any sort of rain or snow. Really, you're just windy today and breezy and warm through the weekend. With Woodland Park, hey, light snow and flurries trying to show up on radar in Teller County, and then I think we could get some more snow on Sunday and another chance Tuesday.